What's up beautiful people? This is Kurdan from My Guess Well and hope you are having an amazing day. I'll get straight to the point that do not buy the PlayStation 5 official SSD, the Western Digital Black SN 850. And I'll tell you why. As you can see, this is the PlayStation 5 official SSD and it has the PlayStation logo on it. And you can see at the top also, it has the PlayStation branding all over the packaging. You will see this branding. So this just came out and it is priced at 100 and uh, $79, 170, let me correct myself, $170. So $169.99. And this one right here is the same SSD and it's Western Digital Black SN850 model, also compatible with PlayStation 5 and PC. A different black color packaging to go along with the black theme. And it is priced at $149.99, that's $150. I get confused between these 99 cents and all that. Why not just make it even? So one is the $170 and one is $150 and I'm talking about one terabyte and both are identical, same, you know, the read speed that it mentions but does not mention the write speed. I don't know why they don't do that. So both say that they both are compatible with PlayStation 5. One is official, one is not official. And you will notice the read speeds are same, the IOPS speeds are same. So everything is just same in Gen 4 SSDs. But one thing is different. When you go and check the pricing, you will find that the PlayStation 5 official SSD is actually expensive than the non-official SSD. But both are the same models. So if you go to the specification, you will find out that the read speeds and write speeds are there. So for the 7000 megabytes per second for the read speed and 5100 megabytes per second for the write speed this is something that you have to go in specification and see and expand and then you see but it's not on the packaging but let me show you the better version that's available from the western digital which just came out and it's called sn850x so if you go to the sn850x you will find out that the read speeds and write speeds are totally different and actually better than the official SSD or even the SN850 previous one. So this is priced at $180, $179.99. So it's $10 more than the official SSD, but the magic is here. When you expand the specifications, you will see 7,300 megabytes per second of the read speeds, which is 300 megabytes per second more. And the main thing is the 6,300 megabytes per second for the write speed, which is phenomenal. So if you're looking at 6,300 versus 5,300, actually 5,100 for the official SSD. That's one more difference. So you're getting 1,200 megabytes per second more speed. So now if you really wanna buy the same, I would go with the SN850 non-official because that is even 200 megabytes faster in the speed for the write speed and it is cheaper, $20. So why not save that $20? And this is another thing that I found that the official one is actually made in China. So if you're looking at the uh, sticker on the back, you won't find this information on the packaging, but it is made in China for the official PS5 SSD. But when you look at the SN850 non-official, you know, <laughs> the one they released before and now it's under the PlayStation 5 branding, it's actually made in Malaysia. So it was made in Malaysia and now it's made in China. I don't know how big of a deal it is because they always follow the technology and all the, you know, the parts up to the specification as designed by the Western Digital. So I don't know if that's going to make a big difference, but the address on the previous one, which is non-official, is for France. And the other one that we have official SSD is uh, re registered to Ireland or, I, uh, yeah, I believe it's Dublin, Ireland. So design-wise, they both are same. You can tell if I'm holding them. It's really hard to see if they are mixed up. You can see, but now I can see which one is which because one is made in Malaysia and one is made in China. I just want to keep it short video, guys, so that you guys can get, you know, the idea that PlayStation 5 official SSD is not the way to go. And you can do your little research and you can save money and do not pay more for the same. So that's all I have from this video, the giveaway link in the description, and I'm not gonna be giving away the PS5 official SSD. I'm actually giving away the other one, which is the one I'm gonna keep, and the PlayStation 5 SSD is actually gonna go back to the store because why pay more $20 extra for the same? And uh, for me, like, yeah, I would go with the Made in Malaysia and send it to you guys for your satisfaction. 
And uh, I hope you guys win that. Link in the description. Make sure to go and participate. And I'm going to be shipping it out to the winner next week. I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out.